Corey Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program, and today I'm going to share with you my seven biggest mistakes that I see people making with their paper and information. So big mistake number one, mixing up action material with reference material. So here's an example. This is a bill. This requires action. It needs to be paid. This is a finished tax return that was sent to me by my accountant. It just needs to be filed. This is action. This is reference. Once I've identified those, I don't want to mix this back together in the same place because I'm not going to be able to see easily what I need to do. So keep these separate. You want to worry about these and not worry about these. So the second mistake I see people making is not having one standard contact management system. So people have their email program where they're managing the people they um, email frequently. They've got a stack of rubber banded business cards over here. They've got a holiday card list over here. And they really need to put all that information in one place and use keywording and categorizing and filtering to sort that list instead of trying to keep it in separate places. Big mistake number three, not having the proper equipment and supplies to do your filing with your papers. So everybody's heard these squeaky file drawers and they've got a, a file drawer that's too full when you put your hand in it. It's too crowded between the folders. It gives you paper cuts. You've got folders that are falling apart. Make sure that you treat yourself to the proper equipment and supplies because filing is not a pleasant job and you might as well do whatever you can to make it pleasant for yourself. So go to the used office furniture store, get a new filing cabinet or get one with scratches and dents on it, whatever you have to do to make that process easier for you. Big mistake number four, not dealing with paper and information on a regular basis. So think of your stacks of paper the same way you think of your dishes in your kitchen sink. Most people have a tolerance for dishes in their sink for only about one day or so before they have to do them. And same with your papers. You should have some kind of a threshold where that makes you uneasy, where you realize, I really need to deal with that, and there needs to be a regular process. I recommend at least once a week going through all of those papers to make sure you've handled things that are important to you. Big mistake number five, not having a secure home for your passwords. We have a video about all the methods of tracking your passwords and there are various ways to do that with software apps and um, you know index card files. But I'm just saying have a system for heaven's sake. I know a lot of people that just keep all of that in their heads and they're using one or two passwords over and over again, which is a very unsecure thing to do. Big mistake number six, keeping too much for too long. So this is a great example. You get these little privacy policies and disclosure statements from your bank or whomever, and you certainly should look at them, but you don't need to keep these most of the time. I mean, most people really don't even need to read them, honestly, and so you can just not file them in the first place. I mean, people keep these things for years and years and years, and they never needed to keep them at all. Um, you certainly need to keep your tax supporting documents, your tax returns, your, uh, your real estate transaction documents, but little things that are inserts into a, a bill for an advertisement, um, stuff like that ends up in files and I see it all the time. So make sure you're not keeping too much or too long. Okay, big mistake number seven, the last one, not backing up your information. This is so tragic, especially if you have photographs. So make sure that you have a backup system. I love the ones that are automated. Um, online like Carbonite and Mosey. It's very important that you don't have to be the one responsible for remembering to do the backup. So have it running all the time, making sure that you have a plan because it's not if your hard drive is going to fail, it's when. So I hope you've enjoyed this and if you want more tips on managing your paper and information, you can see my book, The Home Office Handbook. That's available on Amazon.com as well as our site clutterdiet.com. See you next time and may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough.